ready. Good evening, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the campus of Providence State School. And we are here at Overcash Stadium and Mozak Field for the final game of today's lacrosse triple header. This is the varsity match between the Wildcats of Lake Norman High School and the Chargers of Providence Day. Um, at this time, we're going to do the starting lineup shortly. We are, uh, this is the first time we've, we've streamed um, with announcing the varsity girls across, at least the first time we, Melissa and I, and this is Ted Dixon and Melissa Dixon, the first time we've done it. And um, so we're looking forward to this, to do a little uh, reminding ourselves and priming ourselves on the rules. We'll see how we do. Start with the Wildcats starting lineup as they get it ready. Number one, midfielder senior Liz Dempsey. Number two, Ella Struble. Number nine, Alexa Arnold. Number 10, Aubrey Gilligan. Number 11, McKenna Kosser. Number 13, Addison Pegalo. Number 15, Kate Smith. Attacker number 22, Meg Klinger. Uh, number 23, Tessa Sheehan. Number 28, Juliet Koskia. Number 30, Ellie Zipperdelli. And number 33, Abby Ellingson. Lake Norman is coached by Taylor Ketchum. And now we will introduce the Providence Day starting lineup. Starting in goaling, number 14, Bridget Brewster. Number two, Campbell Stewart. Number three, Libby Barron. Number five, Lucy Dyer. Number seven, Marla Stewart. Number eight, Charlie Thompson. Number 10, Bailey Key. Number 12, Jane Updike. Number 13, Campbell Carter. Number 15, Elizabeth Ciccoletti. Number 20, Rebecca James. And number 26, Caroline Swinson. Chargers are coached by Nicole Donahue, assisted by Meg Floon. Nicole actually used to coach Lake Norman and went to high school there before she came over to coach here. Now we will have our national anthem, so we'll uh, be quiet during the national anthem.
We have a pretty good crowd already here for tonight's game, including Headmaster Glenn Kalishaw. We have Coach Bobby Thompson of the boys' team. We have um, John Stevens, former student of mine way back in the 1990s, four-year advisee. We even have a, looks like we have a tiny puppy, too, or something there. We're trying to figure out if that's the case. Uh, anyway, it looks like it's a beautiful evening, a little bit cool and crisp for spring, but not too hot. It's um, a hat. It's a hat that looks like a puppy. It's a, well, it, it's a thing the thing that looks like a puppy. It's a fur hat, I guess. Um, all right. We'll have to see if we can get Coach Thompson up here at halftime to give his uh, lacrosse coach's interpretation of what's going on. Coming into the game, both teams have a two and three record. This is usually a good battle between the two teams. Um, Chargers are led on offense by Marlo Stewart, who has 13 goals, and Lucy Dyer, who has 11 goals. Um, Marlo is already committed to William & Mary for lacrosse, although she's a three-sport athlete, but she's committed there for lacrosse. Um, the Lake Norman go-to players are Meg Klinger, Tessa C Sheehan, I'm going to probably be mispronouncing this, but Sheehan, I believe, and Liz Dempsey. And they also, Aubrey Gilligan, um, has committed to Lander for Lake Norman. Oh, I think it's going to be a challenge reading Lake Nor Norman's numbers here, blue on black, but we'll do the best we can. All right, here we go for the face-off. Can't see who's, who's our number in the face-off. Can you tell? Nope. Scramble between the four players. Yeah, number that was Lucy five. Dyer. And Lake Norman comes away with it. That's Liz Dempsey bringing it up. Libby Barron is on her. Have to stop at the restaining line there, the red line. 7v7 plus the goalie inside the red line. Get a quick call there. So it's going to be a free shot from the arc for Lake Norman. Didn't see what the foul with call was, but it's a free shot from the arc. I just saw her arm go up. I don't know what it meant. Yeah. There's the shot. Bounces over the goal. That's picked up by Campbell Carter. I believe that's who that is. I can't see the number very well. And she is knocked out of bounds. Or I don't know if that was an intentional knock or if they all got their legs crossed. But Campbell Carter should have the possession from out of bounds here. Actually, from in bounds, free restart. Yep, there we go. It's to uh, Campbell Stewart. Updike has it, goes behind the goal, setting up behind the goal. That's up front to Marla Stewart. And then that's Campbell Stewart up top. Ruby Barron goes back behind to Swinson, back behind to Updike. Jane Updike, back to Swimson. Well, I feel like we're, we're broadcasting a basketball game here. Swinson goes off the pick, tries to get it over I think she was intending that for one Stewart, but the other one almost got it, and Lake Norman gets the turnover. All right, Lake Norman's on the attack. That's a foul, then a quick free restart. Didn't even really pause there on the restart. Lake Norman has it up top. Yeah, we're going to have some challenges reading their numbers. I think that's number two, Cheers. Ellis Trubo with it. Ball's knocked out of this, the uh, stick there, and then that's a foul on Lake Norman. Quick restart for the Chargers. That's over to Bailey Key. Bailey Key is going down the sideline, trying to drive on net. Distributes over to Campbell Stewart. Campbell Stewart sets up. Swinson has it behind 
goes up top to Lucy Dyer. Dyer's trying to drive in. It's going to be a foul. Should be a free shot there for Dyer. Let's see from the arc. Just a restart, but she gets to drive and shoot. Saved by the goalie. It's a good save by Alexa Arnold. Lake Norman the clear. Uh, it's a miss. Did the throw and Elizabeth Chigaletti picked it up. Jared just goes back to the goalie. Bridget Brewster. Brewster has it. Tries to go long towards Updike. Balls on the ground. Picked up by number one Liz Dempsey. Good play. She's had a couple good quick plays there. Ground ball. It's going to be foul on Lake Norman. Updike has it. Free start. Updike's got it. Updike goes in the middle towards Charlie Thompson. Went off of her stick. Picked up by the Wildcats. Wildcats on the attack. Good man-to-man -man defense up front. Good cover there by Ella Strubel after it bounced off Dempsey's stick. Dempsey's got it back. Dempsey's trying to drive. Goes to Strubel inside, and that's a quick goal there by the Wildcats. That was Ella Strubel from Liz Dempsey, I believe. We may get confirmation from up top, but that's what I think it is. Quick team meeting after the goal there on part of the Wildcats offense. Looks like Lucy Dyer is going to be on the face-off again for the Chargers. What number did you think scored it? I think it was Dempsey from Struble, I believe. That Jay Barron guy. Okay. Struble scored, they said. I think it was Struble from Dempsey. They had it backwards. Okay. Struble from Dempsey. Dempsey's driving again. She tries to go inside. That's knocked away. I think that was Bailey Key playing tough defense. Ground ball picked up by Updike. It's going to be a foul. She got checked. Updike gets a free start. She reverses the field all the way over to Rebecca James. James. Double team, gets around the double team, tries to go towards Swinson. Picked up, checked away by Barron. Ball's on the ground. It's going to be Wildcats ball on the ground ball. Get it over to the side. That Can you see a number on that play right there? With the ball, far side. Checked by Updike. Updike is on her. I think we're going to have defense of three seconds here. Let's see. Two, I think. No, nope, 22. 22, yeah. That should be defense of three seconds, I believe. I'm trying to get the clock live. Hold on. Yeah, that was defense of three seconds. Restart by Lake Norman. Driving. Charges rotate the defense. Great save. And then shot out of bounds on the re on the uh, rebound, and that's going to be still Lake Norman ball. That was a great save there by Bridget Brewster. Ground ball knocked forward by the Chargers, kicked forward, still kicked forward by the Chargers, trying to pick it up, and Lucy Dyer's got it. She's driving on the goal. Switches right-handed, left-handed, tries to go around behind the goal, looking for a pass here. Swinson cuts through the middle. Charlie Thompson, Thompson cuts to the middle, gets it up top to Updike. Updike has it. She drives. She shoots off the frame and picked up by Lake Norman. Lake Norman's done a good job on loose balls so far. We got about five minutes left in the first quarter. Yeah, I can't get the clock on. A little work on that, but we'll keep telling you the time is if you can't see it. Pass over to the side, reversed over this way. I think that's 22 again in front. Nice, another good save by Bridget Brewster. Updike gets the rebound. Bridget Brewster's had a couple really good saves here. 
Updike's got it. She can continue to play. She goes across to Libby Barron. Barron goes, tries to go to the middle, knocked away by the defense. Another ground ball picked up by the Wildcats. Checked away by Updike. That'll be Wildcats ball. Try to go forward. Lucy Dyer picks it up. Dyer's got Chargers had numbers initially, but good coverage by Lake Norman. Over to Barron. Barron comes out from behind, loses the ball, gets it back. Reversed all the way over to Swinson. Swinson inside. I think that's Stewart. And she scores. That was, that was number five. It was Lucy Dyer. Lucy Dyer from Caroline Swinson. Good goal for the Chargers, and they tie it up. Mm, I don't think that was Barron. I thought that was Lucy Dyer that scored it. We'll confirm one way or the other. I'm going to go with our thing. I think Dyer scored that. Can we get Dyer on the faceoff? So neither team seems to have a FOGO here. Everybody's staying on the field after the faceoff. That was the first one that Chargers won. It's up top to Marlo. Marlo's directing traffic, wants to go behind the goal to Swinson. That's Alex Emery, who just came in. Emery's looking to distribute. Chargers, um, good play there. Nice pass out to Updike, goes behind. Swinson got it. Nice play, quickly on the rebound. Out to Stewart. Stewart fakes. Stewart tries to drive, uses a pick, shoots and scores. So that's Marlo Stewart. I'm going to say that's from Swinson, and that would be her second assist, I believe. We're going to go with our stats because I think we're better, more accurate on who's who here. Chargers take a 2-1 to lead with 3.04 left. Okay, we got 304 left in the first quarter. We were talking to a college player before the game, um, and we were wondering about a shot clock, but we're clearly not playing a shot clock. Chargers win their second faceoff. Stewart drives, shoots, and scores. I think that was Stewart. Is that seven or five? I can't see. No, that might have been uh, Lucy Dyer. It was Lucy Dyer. Yeah, it was Lucy Dyer right off the faceoff. <laughs> we, um, I think they corrected that earlier one where we disagreed and to, gave it to Dyer. This time Lake Norman wins the faceoff again. That's number one. Liz Dempsey has played well for the Wildcats so far. She's trying to attack in the middle, gets through, looking for Plass inside, gets that inside, and that was scored. And I can't see the number of that what? player. I'd say it was like number eight. She's got her back to the goal right now. Let's see if we can get a number there. Assist was Dempsey. She's the one still in the middle. We're still looking for a number here. She's not conveniently turning her back for us, so Maybe we can't. Maybe it's 22, if it's the one in the middle. The one directly in the middle, you think that's 22? Wait, I can't. We can't tell. And we know it was assisted by Dempsey. We'll watch for the... No, it can't. Hold on. It can't be 22. No, can't see. 
11? Keep maybe? looking. Yeah, I could I She can't hasn't turned her back to us no. yet. That was Emery. Over to Marlo Stewart. Back behind to Libby Barron. I don't know. I, I don't know. She hasn't turned around. She's still the one up there, right? Yeah. Marlo Stewart tries to jive. Shut down by the defense. Pass inside. No, that was um, Alex Emery to Marla Stewart. It was Lucy Dyer that can get through. So Marla Stewart from Alex Emery. We're still trying to get that person's number who scored the goal for the Wildcats. I'm doing too many things. 11. Wildcats goal was, was scored 11. by 11, McKenna okay. Kosser. So the score now is 4-2. For the Chargers, 158 left in the first quarter. We are monitoring the chat. If we get a name wrong or mispronounce something, let us know. Wildcats win the faceoff. Drive in the box. Swinson was checking. That's inside. I think they're going to make the... No, there's a call there. I think that's interference with the goalie. Yeah in the crease or interference with the goalie. Yeah, that, I'm pretty sure that indicator was in the crease. Oh, quick, that was a quick giveaway and steal. Fake inside, good cover by the Chargers. They're gonna call a foul on the Chargers. Yellow card for a penalty. I don't know how long the penalty is. It should be a shot from the arc here. That's, um, is that Bailey Key coming out? Yeah, Bailey Key yeah. coming out on the penalty. Where are they going to restart it? They should be restarting it with a shot from up top. Yep. Like Norman shoots and scores. Who was it? That was 22, I think. 22, yeah. Meg Klinger with the goal. She's one of their top players. Makes the score 4 3 Chargers, 138 left. Klinger scored in that. Still, the Chargers still have the penalty, still a man down. Swinson tries to come in and win the. I'm going to call that a foul on Lake Norman. Chargers ball. I'm not going to give anybody the face off for that one. Ball is distributed over to Marla Stewart. 118 left. Oh, maybe we do have a shot clock there. Oh, no, that's the time of the penalty. Wow, we have a penalty clock. Cool little thing on the scoreboard over there. I see that. Louis Barron has it behind the goal. Maneuvers. Goes over to the side to Swinson. Swinson over to Emery. Chargers might be essentially holding for one shot here since there's not a shot clock. Over to Swinson. Back to Emery. Lake Norman keeps rotating their defense. If nothing else, they're wearing the defense out here. Behind the goal, Libby Barron. Barron goes over to Updike. Updike to Dyer, up top to Stewart. Stewart back to Dyer. Over to Updike. She's checked. Goes this side to Emery. Emery back to Swinson, 15 seconds. Back to Emery, now the Chargers want to attack. Emery's going behind the goal, looking to distribute from there. And that's going to be the end of the quarter. All right. Well, they didn't get a shot off. That won't make the coach very happy in the last part. So at the end of the first quarter, although the charges were man down, so they did use up a lot of the penalty. That was like trying to hold the ball when you have a delayed penalty. Um, charges ahead 4-3 at the end of the first quarter. Um, let's see. Uh, Bailey Key has 22 seconds left in her penalty. 
Um, who are our goal scorers for that, Melissa? Uh, for, sorry, I was doing something else. For what? What are you talking? Lake who scored the, or, just or, for both teams? I've, well, I've, I'm missing one on Lake Norman. So at 3:43, Dyer was the for PDS was Dyer from Swenson. At 3:04, it was Stewart from Swenson. At 2:55, it was Dyer off the faceoff. At 1:56, it was Stewart from Emory. Is that what you have? I think so. Yeah. All I right. Did. At 7:27, I had uh, for Lake Norman Struble from Dempsey. Okay. And, and then I'm missing the one in between. At 138 was Klinger. Who was the? Oh, I didn't mark it. Um, you didn't either. We'll have to check that one. Okay. That was the one we were trying to figure out that eventually turned about turned out to be McKenna Kosser. That's who it was. It was number 11, oh, McKenna 11. Kosser. That's right. I just don't know what time it was. Yeah, but McKenna Kosser scored the other goal. I'm still trying to get the clock up, so. You want to text... Our buddy, you have his phone number than the last text I sent. Uh huh. Hold on. All right. So even first quarter, four three Chargers, looking like a good even game so far. Um, Initially, Lake Norman had a huge advantage in faceoffs, but Chargers were able to come back and um, win a couple in a row to make it fairly even for the quarter. I think Lake Norman was 4-3, and then there was one that, that we didn't count either way that was a foul call, although um, I guess we could have given it to the Chargers since they got the, <coughs> got the ball after the foul call. Okay, this is also not working correctly. So for some reason... Can't get the clock up. We'll, well, no, not just that. The quarter, even though it says it on my little window here, second period, it still says first quarter up on the stream thing. Still fighting for the face-off, still fighting for the face-off. And Chargers win the opening face-off. Marlo Stewart's got it. Checked by two players. I think she was hit in the face. Foul on Lake Norman. Quick restart over to Libby Barron. Emery goes over to Updike. Penalty is now up. Chargers are full strength. Simpson up top. Simpson over to Stewart. Stewart tries to drive, spins, goes over to Swinson, back to Stewart, Marlo Stewart, back to Lucy Dyer. Dyer trying to drive, gets by her person, shoots and scores. Great goal by Lucy Dyer. I'm not sure that I think that's really unassisted as opposed to giving Marlo the assist. We can give Marlo the assist, though. Why not? We can make magnanimous. It's Lucy Dyer's third goal of the game. Puts the Chargers up 5-3, 11-10 left in the second quarter. Ball pops up in the air. Lucy Dyer's able to get it. Nice jump by Lucy getting in her stick. She tries to go to Marlowe in the middle. Ball's on the ground. Libby Barron's able to pick it up. Barron pivots. Nice play by Libby Barron. Ball goes behind Alex Emery. Players have the option of wearing a soft helmet. Libby Barron, that's why Libby's got the helmet in there. At her height, totally makes sense. Marlowe Stewart's trying to work in. Up to Updike up top. Updike spins, shoots, and scores. So that's a goal for Jane Updike. Uh, nope, they're waving it off. What are they saying? Is she in the I think she was fouled before the shot. Okay. So she gets a she gets it on the edge of the crease here, the edge of the arc. That's the further arc, twelve yard arc, not the eight. She drives, she shoots, and she scores. Now we can say a goal by Jane Updike at 
All right, Chargers up 6-3. Lucy Dyer has three. Updike has one and... Stewart has two. Stewart has two. You probably should put an M in front of that Stewart because we have two Stewarts. All right, 10-25 left in the half, first half. Chargers are up 6-3. We're running both their production, play-by-play -play stats, everything here. Up oh, one by Lake Norman. So if we have trouble with any of the things like putting the score up there, bear with us. Or with the having the score is not a problem. It's the time. So it's the clock. All right, Lake Norman's got it, bringing it up. I think that's 22 Meg Klinger that has it. She goes over to Liz Dempsey. Dempsey's trying to drive on the Chargers defense. Tries to pass in front. Saved by Brewster. They're going to say that Lake Norman was closest to that. Lake Norman gets ready for a quick restart. Chargers trying to recover on defense. Passes up front. That's missed outside the restraining line. Libby Barron tried to get it. It was picked up by the Wildcats, able to get possession back. Back up top to Dempsey. Dempsey goes to the middle. Distributes on this side. Ooh, save nice by save. Brewster, another save. Ball's on the ground. Picked up again by Dempsey. Dempsey's got has got to be leading the game in ground balls if we are keeping that stat. Ball's in the crease, picked up by Bridget Brewster. She distributes it over to Campbell Stewart. I believe that's who that is, bringing it up. She's got it. She distributes over to Charlie Thompson. Thompson goes over to Marlowe Stewart. To Updike back behind over to Alex Emery. Chargers swinging in around. That's uh, Libby Barron up top to Lucy Dyer. Swing around to Marlowe Stewart. Stewart drives, gets by two players. Shoots wide. Chargers retain possession. Chargers are getting ready to sub somebody in here. Dyke has it. Goes up top to Thompson. Thompson goes inside to Lucy Dyer. Lucy Dyer's double team. She gets it over to Marlo Stewart. Stewart goes real quack inside for Libby Barron. Ball pops out of her stick. Barron's still after it. Barron's able to pick up the ground ball. Nice job. Over to Charlie Thompson. That was good sticking with it there by Barron. Marla Stewart drives. Goes behind to Updike. Updike looking for the cutter. Doesn't get her. Updike trying to drive inside. Sort of probing the defense there up top to Marla Stewart. She fakes the shot. She gets by two players. Save. Great save by the goalie. And once again, there's Liz Dempsey on the pickup. Liz Dempsey's got to lead the game in ground balls. She goes back to Alexa Arnold in goal. Arnold goes downfield. And here come the Wildcats on the attack. Up top, that might be Klinger. I can't tell. We're having a hard time reading the Lake Norman numbers. Shot wide. Lake Norman's going to retain possession on that. 7-12 left in the half. Balls over to the side. Knocked away. Good defense. Still fighting for it. That was Dyer that was fighting for it. It's going to be a foul on the Chargers on the check that hit more than the stick. And that'll be Liz Dempsey with it up top. Passed in the middle. On the ground. Ground ball. Scrum. Yeah, scrum fighting for it. <laughs> I think that was Swinson trying to get it. Still on the ground. And Wildcats come away with it. But there's a whistle. They're going to make her restart right there on the foul. Cutting to the middle. Good defense forcing her out. Double team. 
Nice pickoff. I think that was Cameron Seward over there. Or Campbell Campbell. Stewart. Campbell Stewart. Cam. I'll just call her Cam. Cam Stewart. And that's Marla Stewart driving with the time. She goes inside to Emery. And Alex Emery scores off the pass from Marla Stewart. Great play by the Chargers off the turnover. Good transition offense there. And that puts the Chargers up 7-3. to three. All right, Chargers. We have a, I think there's a timeout here. Somebody called timeout. I think probably Lake Norman. I don't know if we have a way of checking that on the scoreboard. Uh, doesn't look like they've got that up. According to that scoreboard, we have 13 shots and they have 10. How does that match with what we think? That's what I've got. Perfect. Okay. So Charlie agrees with you, whoever's keeping the stats yeah, up I there. I have no idea who's doing it up there. I was trying to figure out who was ch um, getting ready to check in for the Chargers. I couldn't see their number. We need people to conveniently turn their backs so we can see their number. It's getting a little brisk out here. A few people are blowing on their hands. Of course, there's students here in shorts, but us old people are blowing on our hands. So I put an extra sweatshirt on. So the junior class had their prohibition party on Friday. Defender Rebecca James gave a rousing speech as Norman Thomas for the 1928 election and was able to garner enough votes to upset Herbert Hoover and Al Smith. Ooh. Good job by Rebecca James. She got some booze during it, but she handled it very well and was did a great speech and won the, won the election. Not easy for a socialist candidate for president to do. It must have been a leftward-leaning crowd. Huh. It's really more of a straw poll of the people present than an election. All right, 541 left in the half. Chargers did sub somebody in it forward. 19. Uh... Nina Shah Khan, it looks like, came in. Libby Barron had come out. I don't see her now. Did she go back in for somebody else? She must have. Yeah, she is back in over there. Okay. So I don't know who came out. Marler Stewart trying to get the round ball to face off. Chargers win another face off. Stewart trying to use her speed and drive, get the numbers. Dishes over. To, I think eight. that eight, yep. Charlie Thompson. Charlie Thompson, yep. Can see Charlie out of the trees, so I can tell Nina Shakan behind over to Updike. Back to Charlie. Charlie goes over to Swinson. In the middle, a ground ball shot. Save, good save. Charlie Thompson tries to pass it across a little bit wild, but Swinson's over there to get it. Good cover by Swinson. Goes over to Marlowe Stewart. Marlowe probes the defense. Goes behind to Libby Barron. Over to Nina Jacan. Back up top to Charlie Thompson. To Jane Updike. Updike's now up top with the change in personnel. She's cross-checked down. And... It's going to be a, not a penalty, but a free shot foul here. Uptake drives, shoots low, quickly picked up by Nina Shakan, quickly goes back out in front to Thompson. Thompson is knocked over, cross check again. Thompson will get the free shot here. Thompson drives. Was able to, I think he got it knocked away and then got possession back. Nice job. Over to Updike. 
Updike probes. Top, uh, Lake Norman's doing a good job closing down when we try to drive the middle. Swinson uses the pick there, has a little bit of space. Dishes over to Marla Stewart. Stewart probes the middle. Stewart looking. She goes behind Nina Shakan. Over to Libby Barron. Chargers continue to probe. Barron goes to the middle. Barron pivots and shoots. Why? But that'll be Chargers ball. Picked up by Caroline Swinson. Over to Stewart. Up top to Updike. Over to Charlie Thompson. Over to Swinson. Nina Shakan. Over to Marlo Stewart. Chargers doing a good job probing, going around the outside. Up to Updike. Updike tries to split the double team. She does. Loses possession and picked up by the Wildcats. Good defense by the Wildcats on the double team there. Long pass down the sideline. People are racing for the ball, and that is Chargers ball. That was Campbell Carter clearing it. She gets it across to Swinson. Swinson tried to drive on the transition, gets it over to Marler Stewart. Stewart goes between two players. Great save by the goalie. Bounces behind. Ground ball is picked up by, uh, I think that's by Updike. What are we calling? Are they calling it um, Wildcats ball? Long clear attempt. Ball's on the ground. Lucy Dyer comes back to check. Nice pass to the middle. Uh, great pick. I think that was Campbell Carter in the pick. Tries to distribute over to Thompson. Thompson has it. Thompson was knocked down. Chargers ball. Over to update and Char Chargers settle down. 121 left. Chargers up 7-3. In the first half, they basically ran out the last minute plus, but they also were a man down at that point. I'm not sure whether they'll do that here or not. They may hold for one. First quarter. First quarter, sorry. End of the first quarter. Dyer to Thompson to Marlar Stewart. Over to Libby Barron. It's a little hard to see the restraining line here, but the restraining line is the red line on the 30-yard line of the football stadium. That's why those players beyond that are not. Getting involved in the play. Swinson goes around. She goes over to Dyer. Dyer gets it over to Marla Stewart. Marla goes underneath and gets Nina Shaw Khan again. Over to Updike. Is that Lucy Dyer? I can't see the number, but I think it must yes. be. 25 seconds left. Dyer goes over to Thompson. Thompson tries to use a pack pick. She jumps and was probing. Gets it over to Updike. Updike is trying to charge in. Good defense again. Updike trying to use her strength. No shot there. Eight seconds left. Updike pins, spins, shoots. Saved by um, Alexa Arnold. And that ends the half. So both halves, Chargers tried to run out the last minute for a last shot. And Lake Norman played great defense at the end of, sorry, both quarters, the end of the first quarter and the end of the second quarter to um, neutralize the last shot and prevent the Chargers from scoring that momentum goal at the end of the period. So at the half, the Chargers are up 7-3. to three. Um, Goal scorers for the Chargers are... Uh, Lucy Dyer has a hat trick. Um, Marla Stewart has two goals. Alex Emery has one. And up I Dyke. That's Updike. And Updike has one. And then, um, in addition, uh, Marla Stewart has a couple assists, as does... I Swenson. Swenson, okay. And then for um, the Wildcats, goals have been scored by Klinger, Struble, and... Kosar. Uh, Kosar. All right, we will um, take a quick break here on the mic. And try to fix the clock. And try to fix the clock. And the quarter on the So we're going to mute ourselves. The halftime is about 10 minutes, so we'll be back.
Okay, we're back from the half. Chargers are up 7-3. to three. Got about a minute left in the half. We don't have that many people watching this stream. I don't know if people realize that we are streaming. Tell your friends and neighbors that we're streaming. Coach Thompson was going to text his mom and try to get her to watch. So, um, you know, both at the end of each period, Chargers had a hard time getting a shot off after holding the ball for the last minute plus. Um, according to our expert commentators from the sideline, um, namely Coach Thompson, one of the things is that we are relying too much on 1v1 or 1v2 individual play rather than trying to get cutters to the middle although the wildcats are doing a real good job covering those cutters there needs to be more off the ball movement by the chargers so far lucy dyer has got the hat trick for the chargers uh, the other thing to note if you um, are watching is how difficult that it is to read Lake Norman's numbers. If you've listened to us on the stream in a variety of sports, that's our pet peeve is numbers that are unreadable. So we're doing our best. We have binoculars and old people's eyes, but we're trying to do the best we can to pick up on those numbers. Are you calling me old? No, I have old people's eyes. You don't have to have old people's eyes. You're a youngster. All right, we're ready for the second half. We'll see if we can get the quarter to the third quarter, if it decides to I be I did a... it. I did <coughs> it. I did it. All right. Just no clock. We don't have the uh, clock capability at the moment. It, the quarter disappeared on my screen. It'll come back. <laughs> All right. Tell me if it doesn't. It is. It came back. Look at that. Look at that ex excellent production. All right, 12 minutes, start of the third quarter. That's Lucy Dyer on the faceoff for the Chargers. Marlo and Catherine ready to enter the circle. Marlo wins it. Whoop. Loses it off of her stick. Still fighting for it. Gets it back. So that's definitely a faceoff win. Marlo's trying to drive the middle. Goes behind uptake. Over to Alex Emery. And this is where we don't need the Chargers standing around. I'm not an expert on this, but we need a little more movement, I think. Um, Thompson goes over to Stewart. Stewart's got a little space there, trying to go 1v1. Good double team by the um, by Lake Norman. She goes inside looking for Alex Emery. Ball's on the ground. Ball's batted around. And then picked up Libby Barron. So, you know, that was Charlie Thompson that got it, I think, maybe. So over to Stewart, and Stewart scores. Let's see if we can figure out. That might have been Lucy Dyer, actually, who got it and then passed over to uh, Marla Stewart. I think it was Lucy. So now both Marla Stewart and Lucy Dyer have hat tricks. I'm pretty sure that was Lucy on the assist. Yep. Charges are up 8-3 now. 11-14 left in the third. Goal was scored 11-14. Marla Stewart from Lucy Dyer. Marla Stewart got that in her stick, but wasn't able to maintain possession. They're going to call a foul on the Wildcats and Chargers quick restart. It's over to Dyer. Dyer goes behind. I think that was Thompson. Over to Emery. Over to Updike. To Swinson. Over to Stewart. To Barron. Chargers going around, moving the ball pretty well. Marla Stewart tried to cut. Now Libby Barron tries to cut. That was Alex Emery looking. I think that was Charlie Thompson. Over to Marla Stewart. She has to flip it in the middle. That's blocked. Ball's up in the air. Being fought for. And they're going to call Wildcats closest to that and Wildcats ball. We can't even see the red end line very well, except when the players sort of stop there. Cleared up through the middle. Wildcats bringing it up. Checked by the Chargers. Passed over far side. Picked up by the Wildcats. 
down low, trying to drive the middle, knocked away. I think I said that hit the arm, not the stick, so that's going to be Wildcat's ball. Free shot here. All right, Chargers cover, try to block that. Shot wide, picked up by the Wildcats. Good play, trying to drive the middle. I think that was knocked away up top. Can't tell who's got that there, but it could be Dyer. No, I think it might have been um, Camp Stewart. It's knocked away again. Swinson's got it. That was knocked away from Dyer, but Swinson has it. She goes over to Charlie Thompson, over to Updike. Boy, my eyes are getting old. Libby Barron behind. Alex Emery. Quickly, there was a cutter in front. Wasn't able to reach her. Part of it's the lighting at the moment. It's not dark enough. Yeah, we're in that weird tween light. Libby Barron driving the box. Spins, trying to get the shot off. Goes behind. Emery picks it up. Emery distributes over to Updike on the rebound. And Updike scores. So that was Jane Updike from Alex Emery. Great play by the Chargers. That's Updike's second goal, I believe, right? Yep. What's the Chargers up? 9-3 with 8.35 left in the third. And that is uh, Emery's second assist also. Yeah, she's done a good job distributing. I'm not sure if Nina Shakhan's there is a flyer. She's standing on the side. Let's see if they... Try to change on the fly, offense, defense. There's the face off. Dyer and Stewart going for it. Stewart gets the ground ball. Over to Dyer. Chargers doing a much better job on ground balls this half, more consistently winning them. It's over to Thompson. Thompson goes essentially 1v2 there, double teamed, is able to retain possession, picks it up. Over to Emery. Emery over to Swinson. Goes behind Updike over to Barron. Barron over to, that's Marlowe, I believe. Marlowe uses the pick. Good coverage. Sorry, that was Dyer off the pick. Marlowe doing the pick. Now Marlowe has it. Back yeah. to Lucy Dyer. Now Marlowe sets the pick. Lucy Dyer goes off of it. Need a pick and roll type thing here. Goes behind to Updike. Updike goes up top. Swanson. To, it's Marla Stewart. Sorry, that was... Oh, yeah. yeah, Marla Stewart has it. Goes behind to Emery. Got a whistle. I don't know what the whistle's for. I think it was defensive three seconds. Is that Charlie Thompson over there? I can't see I that. I can't see either. Should be Charlie, based on her build. Over to Emery. Emery comes around behind. It Emery was. Driving. Goes up top to Lucy Dyer. Tyler tries to drive one of the three. Knocked away. That's going to be a foul, I believe. And so Dyer will get, should get a free shot here. Dyer's on the arc. So that's the 12 foot, right? Yep. Gets a free restart from the 12 foot, waiting for the whistle. Jump the gun. Yep, I'm not sure what's going on there. Drives and scores. So Lucy Dyer unassisted. Charger up 10 3, 624 left. <coughs> Looks like Nina's going to check in for Alex Emery. So Dyer regains the goal scored in this game lead away from Marlowe with her fourth goal.
Right for the ground ball. It was picked up by Dyer. Right? Charging. Shoots wide, but Nina Shotcon there is for the rebound. Quick restart. It's going to be picked up by Swinson. Swinson's able to maneuver. That came outside the zone, but she was able to regain possession. Now Marla Stewart's behind, which she hasn't done yet. Probing the defense. Good defense being played there. Again, we can't read the numbers, so I can just tell you good defense. Swinson over to Thompson. Thompson's trying to probe the defense there over to Updike. Cut her in the middle. Can't get it to her. Tank is looking around. It's over to Thompson. I think that's uh, Marlowe again. She drives, shoots high. She was checked on the shot. Maybe Barron's got it. Barron with a quick restart. Over to Updike. Over to Dyer. To Thompson, Barron, Chargers rotate where their players are. Barron's up top now. Tries to quick dish over to Swinson. Picked up by Shaw Khan. Out to Barron. Out to Thompson. Chargers keep trying to probe the defense. And that's over to... That was Dyer. Now Stewart has it. Picks up by Dyer. There's going to be a foul there on the check and that should be essentially a free shot here for Marlo Stewart. I think that's Marlo, not Lucy. Seven. Yeah, it's Marlo. Free restart, she drives the goal, shoots, save, great save, balls on the ground. Picked up by the Wildcats, good ground ball there. Back to the goalie. Alexa Arnold has it, but that's stolen by Swinson. Swinson back into the zone. Flips over to Marla, over to Lucy, over to Thompson, over to Updike, over to Barron. Nina shakhan has got it behind. Is that Emery, far side? I can't see the number on the far side. Thompson trying to use the pick. Thompson drives. Thompson shoots and scores. At 321. So Charlie Thompson scores at 321, putting the Chargers up 11 to 3. I'm not sure there was really an assist on that. We got Reese Updike now coming in. I think that's Reese Updike coming in for Libby Barron. So now we have two, two Updikes on the field. Making a lot of noise with that mic over there. Sorry. Dropping the poor mic. Chargers up 11-3, 3.20 line left in the third. Ball pops up in the air. Stewart tried to jump for it. Wildcats get it. going to be a they're calling a penalty on Marlo Stewart checking penalty on Marlo Stewart two minute penalty and talking to an expert before the game she said at the high school level sometimes those checking penalties are pretty subjective so I don't know exactly what they were looking for there but it puts the Wildcats man up for two minutes 308 left Wildcats reverse it over Shot is over the goal, but Wildcats are there first. Pick it up. Trying to attack. Chargers trying to cover well here. Trying to pass inside. Knocked away by the Chargers. Picked up by Updike. I believe that's Updike. Gets it forward to Nina Shah Khan. Sean's 1v1. And Chargers slow it down as they should with over a minute left on the penalty. 
It's over to Swinson. I think that's Reese Updike now on that side. Over to Charlie Thompson over here. Over to Jane Updike. I have to start using first names here. Jane back to Charlie Thompson. It should be they could be double teaming here. They're definitely putting a lot of pressure on. Here comes the double team, triple team. Thompson still has it, flips it over to Updike. She got the triple team because she was on the other side of the restraining line there. Updike is double team, goes behind. <coughs> Using your speed, spinning, coming in front, shoots. And it's a good save, great save by Alexa Arnold on that one. It was straight into her net. Still 27 seconds left. There's something in here that's choking us. Maybe we have pollen in the booth. Wildcat's trying to bring it out. Nice play by the Wildcats, bringing up the middle. Chargers trying to pressure on defense. Chargers recover, a good recovery by the Chargers. Pass in front. That was a good pass and a good goal. So the assist was 22, and the goal was, I think that's going to be 11. I think that's the 22 to 11 combination you've seen before. <laughs> So assist was Klinger. Klinger and goal scored by Kosser. Um, never saw the number, but I'm pretty sure that's who that was. Jane Updike comes out now. Chargers sub out. Penalties <laughs> over. I don't know who came in for Jane. Marla wins, <laughs> gets the face off. Marla timed it. Minute left. Drive. We get a minute left. See if the Chargers play for one, but we're able to get a better shot off this time. Nobody's really guarding Marlo, so she's just holding it here. Nobody's pressuring. Chargers moving around. Still no real pressure on Marlo. She goes over to Charlie Thompson. Almost picked off, but I think that's Swinson that's got it. I think that must have been Swimson that went in for Jane Updike. Charlie Thompson has it near the straining line. Being checked, that's going to be free restart. She quickly restarts. She shoots. Good save by Alexa Arnold. Not an overly hard shot. Three, two, one, and that's the goalie just held it. So at the end of three quarters, Chargers are up 11 to four. Um, Lucy Dyer with four, Marler Stewart with three. Um, Updike has one, Emery has one, Thompson has one. Updike has two. Updike has two. And Thompson and Emery each have one. That's uh, Jane Updike. Dyer has four. Did yeah, Dyer has four, yep. And then... Um, Klinger and Kosser have really been the players for Lake, um, for Lake Norman. Kosser has two goals. Klinger has a goal and assist. Other goal was scored by Struble, we believe. Now, they just now confirmed above that they agree with us on who scored the goal. I think they radioed down to find out, but... <clears throat> Our spotter is quicker, I guess. Um, so it's 11-4 going into the final quarter. We're up to nine watching. I hope that means Mrs. Thompson is now watching. From uh, She knew probably in New York, I think. I'm not sure. If anybody is watching from out of state, put it there. You can go ahead and put your name in the chat or where you're watching from. You don't have to put your name, but interested to know where you're watching from. We always like to know who's watching from furthest away. So we expected a pretty even game. Both teams coming into this game with a two and three record, but Chargers have played very well to this point and are dominating um, on the field, on possession, and on the 11 to four score. In addition, um, we're getting close to when conference play will start. Uh, I believe conference play starts sometime in the next two weeks. 
all these games so far have been non-conference, I believe. Chargers have outshot the Wildcats 24 to 12 also. I don't know if you could hear that, but Chargers have outshot the Wildcats 24 to 12. Another I took just... my mic off because I couldn't stop clapping. All right. Chargers have Campbell and Marla Stewart ready for the face-off, along with Lucy Dyer, who's doing the face-off. Simpson, Thompson, Emery, Reese, Updike up top. up in the air. Dyer jumps up and get it. Great play by Dyer. Dyer tries to jive, tries to dish over to Marla Stewart. She does. Stewart is quickly double teamed. Back to Dyer. Over to Swinson. Swinson goes <coughs> behind to Emery. He's unguarded. Emery comes around and shoots lefty and scores. So Alex Emery from Catherine Swinson. Caroline. Caroline Swinson, sorry. And that was a breakdown there on the defense on the part of the Wildcats. Puts the Chargers up 12 to 4. Hey, we got Lucy Dyer's grandparents watching from the mountains of North Carolina. Nice. Well, Lucy's playing a great game, so it's good to know she's got that support. But it's colder up there than it is here, even though it's pretty brisk here. Ball's up in the air. Marla Stewart's able to get it. Stewart is driving the box, driving the goal, still driving the goal, shoots and scores. So Marler Stewart goes all the way off of the faceoff and scores another goal for the Chargers to put him up 13 to 4. Jane Updike is now checking in for the Chargers. Not who she's she is going in for, I believe, number seven, Marla Stewart. Yes, she is. So now we have both Marlo and Lucy have four goals in today's game. 11.32 left. Ball's up in the air. Updike. Jane Updike came back and got it. Nice play. Height advantage there. Emery has it behind the goal. Over to Charlie Thompson. Wildcats man to man defense is doing a pretty good job rotating. That was Reese Updike. She goes behind to Swinson. Swinson goes over. I think that's um, Cam Stewart with it. was. She goes to Updike. Updike goes inside, but the missed pass picked up by the goal. So Alex Arnold's got it. Tries to clear up through the middle. Pretty good clear. Ball's on the ground. Ball's still on the ground. Chargers pick up the defense. Passes goes through a charger forward. Now Charger, they try to, Wildcats try to pass it in the box. Lefty player trying to circle around. Dishes it off to Kosar. Up top to um, Dempsey. Dempsey trying to drive. She dishes to the middle. Ball's on the ground. And picked up by Chargers goalie. Good play there by Bridget Brewster. Quickly gets it out. I think that's to Cam Stewart. Can't tell though. Could be Dyer. Can't see a number. Two. Was Cam Stewart. I was right. Tries to dish it to Reese Updike. That's behind. Are they going to say the Wildcats are closest to that? So Wildcat ball, I believe. Yep. Wildcats restart. Okay. 
Back to the goalie under pressure. Goalie goes down the middle for the clear. Completed, nice outside. We have a gentleman who pacing in front of us back and forth. I think he might be the father of Lake Norman's goalie based on his nervousness. All right, Lake Norman has the free restart. Okay, they get another penalty on the Chargers. I don't know, I think that was hitting the head. Another two minute penalty on Bailey Key, I believe. That's her second two minute penalty. And Lake Norman scores quick, pretty quickly off that. And I didn't see the assist. Ball was scored by number 28. I think that was scored by, um, I think it was scored by Juliet Koskia. Is that 28? Yeah. Let's, yep. we'll, we'll wait for the official uh, confirmation. It makes the score 13 to 5. Chargers still a man down. I think Norman wins the face-off. That's two straight face-off wins for them. Again, they still have a man advantage. For 141 left, I think. Up, oh, missed passed. Picked up by the Chargers. Nice defense. That was dished over. Good defense, good clear. Swinson's got it. We haven't called out the Chargers defenders' names enough. I couldn't tell who made that play, but that was a great play. I think that play was by Elizabeth Ciccoletti. Emery has it. Goes up top to Lucy Dyer. Dyer goes over to Swinson. They can double team the ball handler if they can get to the ball handler since Chargers are man down. They're trying to double team. I think that was Nina that's got that behind. Reese Updike with it. Reese Updike, nice pass. Attempted pass in the middle. Ball's on the ground. Lake Norman ball. 31, 30 seconds left on the penalty. 728 in the quarter. Looks like the Chargers are changing on the fly here. Yeah, here comes Emery out and Thompson coming in. Driving, trying to distribute to the middle. Chargers going after loose ball. Good fight for that loose ball. They're going to call that check on the Chargers. Lake Norman ball. And the penalty is now up. So checking in for the Chargers on the penalty there is Rebecca James. Subbing in on the penalty. Driving the goal, a little bit of open space. Good double team by the Chargers. Good cover behind. I think that's going to be shooting room on that. Are they going to call a penalty on that? She held up a yellow card. She held, well, she held up her arms to stop the clock. I can't tell if they're, I didn't see a card. She had a yellow card in her hand. But I don't know why. Maybe she did it by accident. Yeah, I think she was just the yellow card's always in her hand. She didn't put the yellow card up, I don't think. There's a discussion going on there with the other referee. Now the two referees are talking. Referee confab. Good thing they stopped the clock on this. Referees are consulting on the rules. <laughs> They're, maybe they're having as much trouble seeing as I am in this light. Still discussing what to call here.
I didn't see a clear indication of what's happening. Nobody really knows. It's almost like they're asking them where they were. Yeah, I think they're calling it. Okay, I think they're saying it's Lake Norman Ball. Free, free start. Right outside the outer restraining circle, but they didn't have a ball, so now they've got one. All right, there we go. Lake Norman's got it. Yeah, Lake Norman outside the 12-yard circle. So no foul called. All right. The question is whether the Chargers could play defense on that or if it was a free thing. And the answer was still, there's ongoing communication trying to explain what was happening to the coaches and whatever the answer was, I didn't get it, but ball's restarted. Trying to attack the middle, distributes inside. Nick Norman tries to save it. That was Chickaletti with it. I can't tell who that is running down the sideline, but they're doing a great job. Do you see a number there? Nope. Ball was knocked away. 11. 11. That was a great play there by Savannah Stevens. Ball goes behind. I think that's Resup Dyke. Over to Swinson. Tries to go in the middle of Stewart. Stewart shoots, saved. Tempted clear, balls in the ground, picked up by the Wildcats. Scores 13 to 5, 537 left. That's gonna be a foul. She's acting like, what did I do? Wildcats ball right there for a free start, but no penalty called. Probing, probing, probing. Distributes over to Kassar. And now we get another call. Some kind of a foul on the charge. Might have been defensive three seconds. I think that's what it was. Free restart for the Wildcats. Players are all in the right positions. Outside the arcs. Driving the goal. Good cover defense there. But, a, but the goal was scored. Let's see if we... I have no idea who shot that. I think, yes, I do. I think it was 22. I think that was um, Meg Klinger on that goal. We'll wait for the official announcement, but it makes the score 13 to 6 for 432 left. That was a goal scored in a scrum, but I think it was Meg Klinger. Foul called on the Chargers. Dempsey with it again. Dempsey's done a good job with ground balls all game. Balls to the middle. It was on the open but on the ground. Missed pass. Distribution. Chargers playing tough defense there. Up top. Trying to look inside. That was picked off. That was a great defensive play. Is that Stevens again? We get a number on that player. 20. Just 20. That was Rebecca James. Great play by Rebecca, Rebecca James. She read the pass, stepped in, picked it off, and brought the ball down the field. Now she's going back and switching with Marla, who had to be at the restraining line until they switched. I think that was Gideon with the ball there.
Charlie Thompson has it up top. Chargers make a substitution on defense. Gracie Casper goes in. She goes in for Cam Stewart. It's Lucy Dyer up top over to Charlie Thompson. Can't see a number over there. Let's see if we can figure the number on the far side. It might be 18 Gideon. Marla Stewart's back in. Now she's behind the goal on our side. Goes inside. Nice pass. Marla Stewart to, I think that was Charlie Thompson again. So that's Charlie Thompson on the goal. And it's just assisted by Marla Stewart. That's Thompson's second goal of the game. That's Marla's, what, third or third assist? It is one, two, three, yep. Third assist, yep. 14 to six, Chargers, 242 left. Checking back in for the Chargers is Cam Stewart. And going out is Lucy Dyer. Oh, we're having Cam Stewart do the faceoff. So the first time that Lucy hasn't done the faceoff all day. Ball's popped up, people fighting for it, and Marla gets it. That'll make your sister look good if you win the face off that way. Marla tries to go inside towards Thompson. Ball's on the ground, picked up by um, Alexa Arnold. Arnold tries to clear up the middle. She does, like norming it down far side. Chargers trying to pressure the pass. Whip, whip, the uh, turf must be getting a little slippery in the dew here. Pass in the middle, good pass, good defense stepping in, and Ooh. then shot and goal. That's a nice goal. That might be Kossar again. Number 11, is that Kossar? Yes. Yeah, that's goal by number. That's, is that her third or fourth? It's 14 to 7. It's her at third. third. 14 to 7, Chargers, 209. I did not get the assist on that goal, though, I remember. It was at 209. Yep. So 14-7 Chargers, 209 left. Miller Stewart has it on this side. Tries to dump inside and that's scored. So that was Marlo Stewart and that was scored by number four. Mary Linda Descal, senior Mary Linda Descal. I don't know how many goals she has as a Charger. That's awesome for Mary Linda. Wait, who, Great, who was the Mary assist? Linda, Marla Stewart. Okay. So that's now Another her one. fourth. Yep. Great distribution to your senior teammate there. All right, 15 to 7. A little under two minutes left. Cam Stewart on the faceoff again. No, it wasn't Cam Stewart. It was Marlo Stewart on the faceoff. Well, gets ball. They pick it up. Quick restart. Did not give her enough space. Here we go. Now there's the restart again. I think Olivia Desmond just checked in for the Chargers. Descal had it on the, uh, she continues to move forward, still checked. A couple whistles there of ongoing possession. Dishes over, that's over to 12. Updike, Updike shoots and scores. And I think that's Thompson on the assist. Yeah. Jane, Jane Updike from Charlie Thompson. Puts the Chargers up 16 to seven with 112 left. That's another, it's three players with hat tricks for the Chargers, right? Mm hmm. Dyer, Stewart, and now Updike. Let's see who's going to do the. Cam Stewart looks like she's going to do the face off here.
There was that Dempsey purse picking it up again. Good ground ball player. Checked back by Updike. Tries to pass inside. Knocked away. A good defensive play by Marlo Stewart. Ball's on the ground. Push from behind. Yeah, Lake Norman ball. Quick restart up top. Going around up top. Good defense by the Chargers. Trying to dish it inside. Shot over the goal. Lake Norman will retain possession. Quickly diving into the goal. Quickly passing up front. And that was another goal. I think that's... Kosser from 28. Should be 11 from 28, I think, there. So Kosser with the goal and Juliet Kaskia with the assist, I believe. Yep, 16 to 8. Chargers, 33 seconds left. Another face off won by the Wildcats. Number one, Dempsey's played a great game for the Wildcats. Not as much in the goals and the assists, but on the face offs and the ground balls and everything else. Ball's in the ground. I think that's going to be Chargers ball. Check from behind. Chargers in the quick restart. And that's the end of the game. So the final of the seasoning's game from Overcast Stadium and Mozak Field is the Providence Jay Chargers 16, the Lake Norman Wildcats 8. Um, the... Chargers will play their first home game next Tuesday, April 2nd, against the Charlotte Latin Hawks. Um, let's see. Shots for the Chargers. They outshot Lake Norman 31-17. to 17. Um, Leading scorer for the Chargers in goals was Lucy Dyer with four. Marlo Stewart had three. Jane Updike had three. Charlie Thompson, I believe, had two. Two, two and then assisted on one insisted on one and then alex emery had one Alex emery had two as well um and i think that accounts for oh and then marilyn did at the end scoring a great goal for the chargers the lat the 16th goal um and then marler scored also had a number of assists so players of the game goal scoring and assist scoring wise were lucy dyer and marla stewart on defense um Bridget Brewster did a good job in goal, and Ciccoletti, Key, and where's the other name I'm looking for there? Ciccoletti, Key, and Carter um, were the, all did a great job on defense. All right, so that'll be it for the game this evening. Um, there's no more home game streaming this week because everybody's on the road different places, but next week will be a busy week with the beginning of conference play. Um, Hope you have a great evening. This is Ted Dixon signing off with Melissa Dixon.